Fetch AI continues to see a bit of a breakdown move after an aggressive bounce to the upside, giving us a high above the $1.742. And at the time of this recording, we have continued to see the formation of lower highs, which is an indication that in the next coming hours and days, we are going to continue seeing lower prices. And on today's video, I will be focusing on key areas of supports that we need to continue holding above, key areas of resistances that we also need to see a break above for us to see higher prices, and above all, discuss my long-term price prediction analysis. And for those of you that might want to take a trade, you can check out BitGet, which is my go-to exchange. And you can see that on sign up, you can now claim a welcome pack of up to 6,200 USDT. And all you need to have for you to register for an account is an email and alternatively you can use your phone number for registration. Jumping back to the charts, I want to start the video here on the 4 hour chart by giving you a wider view of what has been happening basing my analysis on the additive structures where you can see that from the lows that we made on the 5th of August, we started a very nice bounce to the upside where we picked in these five wave structure giving us a high above the 1.742 dollars completing an even larger additive count one and after we picked in that larger additive count one i was expecting that we are going to see a bit of a short-term pullback in the formation of a larger additive count two whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave down there to the high of this additive count one giving me a minimum pullback target area between the FIB level 0.382 and a maximum of the FIB level 0.78. And that target area lies between the $1.348 and the $0.923, which is the area highlighted here on the charts. And because of the corrective nature in the formation of that second wave, I have also been expecting to see an ABC corrective structure play out where on the charts, I now believe that we have seen the formation of a wave A. We have seen a bounce in a wave B into the minimum target areas highlighted here on the charts. We got rejected. And I now believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is a pullback to the lower side in a wave C to fully maximize our minimum target area. Give us a low for this second wave before we can finally bounce to the upside in what I will be terming as the start of an impulsive additive count three. So in the next coming hours, I'm still expecting no prices here on the Fetch AI chart to get us into this target area over here, fully maximize the area, give us a low in place for the second wave before we can finally bounce to the upside in an additive count three. Jumping to the daily chart to discuss my long-term price prediction analysis, I believe that we got our bear market lows last year and saw an aggressive bounce to the upside that peaked above the 3.479, giving us the high for this additive count one. Then we started a short-term pullback in a larger additive count two into the minimum target areas for the second wave highlighted on the charts using this blue target area, an area that I came up with using the Fibonacci connecting the fibs from the bear market lows to those highs we made in March, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.78, an area that we have now fully maximized, increasing the likelihood that we now have a low in place for the second wave. And in the next coming weeks or maybe months, we are finally going to see a very impulsive movement in a wave three, then expect a wave four and then a wave five, taking us to new all-time highs and possibly giving us more than a 10x in the next coming months. So that is the price action that I'm expecting on the short term and also on the long term. And let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I will be keeping you up to date.